hello guys we are back with our next tutorial in this tutorial let's see about energy resources energy resources refers to the any material in the environment that can be used to generate energy for the for a useful purpose are called as energy resources so i hope everyone got a small idea on energy resources so whatever any type of resource excuse me oh any type of resource is basically divided into two types renewable and non renewable renewable are nothing but these sources are produced in the nature and they can be regenerated by themselves in a short span of time where non renewable they cannot be regenerated in a short span of time they take almost 10 to 20 years to generate so i hope everyone got a small idea on renewable so let's first go through renewable in depth and after that we'll be going through non renewable so in renewable few examples are solar energy wind energy water energy and tidal energy so i hope everyone got a small idea so let's go in depth in each of these examples which i have just read now so basically we'll be starting with solar energy it is the energy form of the sun and is the most readily available non conventional source of energy as the sunlight is never going to decrease it may increase the temperature may increase but it's never going to decrease guys so though the sun is 150 million kilometers away from us yet we receive enough energy every minute to meet our needs for the whole year so from this we can say that the solar power is one of the best way to get solar energy so solar cells solar power heaters solar pumps solar furnaces etc so anyway we'll be having advantages and disadvantages too so few advantages are solar energy is completely renewable source yes it is solar cells make absolutely no noise at all yeah that's that's going to be a plus point and every little maintenance is required to keep solar cell running okay there is no much maintenance it seems it's very less and initialization cost of solar panel may be more but on a long run it is it saves a lot as as there is no use of any more electricity unless and until it rains outside or there is a huge thunderstorms or something like that so disadvantages solar panels are quite expensive yes that's what the last point indicates the initial cost may be more yeah it cannot produce on a stormy or a cloudy day yeah i was about to say this okay i hope everyone is clear with solar power energy so this is all okay just a second this is all about solar power energy okay now let's go through wind power okay let's go through wind power guys wind power is also a renewable energy source it is also a renewable energy okay sorry it's also a renewable energy source that is used used due to wind power wind due to the wind we will be generating the electricity from wind basically we will be constructing a wind mill at the top of a large tower we will be inserting a propeller we will be just inserting it and due to the wind it will be it will start rotating and according to that rotations we will be producing the electricity i hope everyone got a small idea on wind power so let's go through advantages wind is a clean energy source as that cannot then that cannot produce any kind of pollution guys okay it is very cheap to support so no need to pay a lot of money for it so wind it is just free around us so we can get it really really easily so there is no much expenses or there is no need of any money to buy it and it can be recycled yeah you can use the same air again but the air should need some force to just produce electricity and some disadvantages are it makes noise yeah that's truth when the propeller is rotating it's going to make noise and we need a lots and lots of open area and this cannot be established in every place we cannot establish on the top or of top of our house because 
here we will not be getting any kind of air so I hope everyone got a small idea on wind power so now let's go through tidal power tidal power is not is nothing but previous in the previous tutorial I have told you about ocean currents it is basically the ocean currents which produces the current it is it is the generate it is the it, it is it uses kinetic energy to produce electricity from water which comes up and down with the tide tidals by producing okay there will be some kind of uh, cross shaped things near our ocean or sea such that whenever the tidal tidal or the current comes and touches it it rotates and it produces a little amount of current and the advantages are they do not produce any kind of waste or any kind of greenhouse gases and tides are predictable yeah the energy is renewable you can use it again and again and disadvantages are it produces some environmental issues and industrial uh, and the initialization cost is a bit more okay next going through hydro electrical electric power the power which is produced nearby dams by keeping turbines under underground okay that's fine let's go through it in depth the hydro electric power is generated by falling water the dam is built in a valley to trap water the water is allowed to flow through the turbines in the dam to turn the turbine drive the generator generator to produce electricity so I hope everyone got a small idea let us see the advantages of it once construction of dam is completed we can get a constant output of current so there is a possibility of getting a constant output of current and there is no pollution guys there is no pollution until and unless the water is stagnant if the water is stagnant it causes mosquitoes it causes growth of mosquitoes guys okay so let us assume that the water is not stagnant and the dam is really running properly so there will be no pollution and it is a most it is not an expensive method yep we're gonna get continuous power in as per the time continuous so it is an endless stream of power so disadvantages construction of dam the construction of the main dam costs you a lot and we need many we need a particular area in which we need to clear and certify everything even we need to pay for the people who used to live there so we need to get those lands we need to get approvals from the government right it's not an easy thing guys it's really really long process and the disadvantages include the fish population is going to decrease okay and it indirectly means that we are going to damage our ecosystem that's it so I hope everyone is clear up to now and even we got two more examples okay let's go through them really faster okay one of the example is wave power okay wave power is also simi similar like tidal power okay this is also produced by seas or oceans due to their currents once the efficiency one of the most efficient method of getting energy from the waves of the sea so the advantages will be it is renewable environmental friendly and no pollution disadvantages are only in few locations yes we need to get the currents frequently and it, it affects a, a marine ecosystem a lot guys okay so nextly biofuel a biofuel that contains energy from geological recent carbon carbon fixation these fuels are obtained from living organisms okay even I hope everyone heard about biofuel guys it is most commonly heard word okay major advantage is it reduces CO2 emission produce and it produce it produced from oil palm and sugarcane this fuel is less expensive yeah this is the truth no more waste of waste or pollution 
no more air pollution that's what i was about to say disadvantages is high carbon dioxide emission from corn and burning these fuels causes a lot of pollution guys that's a truth okay guys okay non renewable let's go now through non renewable non renewable is nothing but it refers to the energy source that is available in limited quantity such that it cannot be formed easily such as okay sorry guys such as fossil fuels i hope everyone knows about fossil fuels those are the petroleum petroleum products okay that's fine fossil fuels are the fuels produced by natural resources like decomposition or burning of dead organisms guys that's the main way how they are formed example are coal oil and gases and the advantages are like this it produces large electricity can be produced by coal yeah that's one of the 90 or 80% of the electricity is produced from the coal and transportation of oil and gas is really easy we can just fill it off in a container and we can transport it from one place to another or through a ship fossil fuels are very easy to find yeah that's obvious and power generating sources are considerable are constructed at any location as if we just need a particular plot and we can just construct it off next the disadvantages will be these are non renewable and these produce lots and lots of pollution not pollution it's lots and lots of pollution and it produces greenhouse gases and it is the main cause of acid rain and we got many reasons like this guys so i hope everyone understood understood about this now let's go through another example it is nothing but nuclear power which is also comes under non renewable as it is nothing but the reaction between the nuclear reaction between some special special chemical components okay these are some dangerous chemical reactions in which we gonna get so much of energy from it is the energy released by a nuclear reaction especially by fusion by fusion or fusion by joining or by dividing of the, a component of a nuclear component okay let us go through some advantages advantages are these are cheaper to run and build and these use fossil fuels safely used under normal conditions and there is no emission of carbon dioxide i hope everyone understood the advantages so let's go through some disadvantages these are majorly non renewable source and these are very expensive to build the whole thing it, the, the, that construction is very costly and to run it it is really really easy and it risks diseases and it even causes many many disasters we can say the example of this is hiroshima nagasaki that's all that's due to a nuclear missile or something like that so i hope everyone understood about energy sources so in the next tutorial we will be covering about land resources thank you thanks for watching